Hi everybody, my name is Mr. Nate and today we are going to be having our ICT lesson review for weeks 5 and 6. And we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic this time. And the topic is web design. How many want to learn how to design a professional website? So in the next three weeks, I am going to be teaching you how to build a professional website using Mobi Rise. Yes. But before that, let's quickly look at our learning objective. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to explain what is a web design. You'll also be able to list the different applications used for designing a website. you also identify features of a website and uses of a website. But before that, let's quickly practice a quiz activity that I found on the internet. And I feel that we need to see these questions too. Now, some of these questions are out of what I have taught you, but I want us to look at this quiz together and see how many of you are really smart. Can we do that together? Yes, of course. So let's start. So the first question says, what is the function of picture effect? What is the function of picture effect? Beautification. MS Word is a dash. File, no. Spreadsheet, no. Folder, no. Is a document application. What is the next question? What is a poster? A larger text, a large picture, a large text with picture or a large picture with text. Yes, that is what a poster is. Next question. To add picture, we go to which tab? Insert. Yes, we go to insert to add picture. And let's look at the last question before we go to our lesson. The last question says to add border to your page, we use dash picture, no, text effect, no, page color, no, page border. Yes, page border. And that brings us to the end of this particular quiz activity. Let's quickly go to our lesson for today. Now, like I said, we're going to be talking about web design. What is web design? Now, before I tell you what is web design, I'd like you to know that in today's world, it is absolutely impossible or it is hard to run a business or to run an organization without a good website. And web design means building a website. Now, for this class, what I want to teach you is how to build a website for your mommy, for your daddy or for that great idea that you have. Now, what is a website? A website is a world wide web that serves as information space where content such as document, pictures, videos, files and applications are stored. Let me explain this in a simpler term. Website is just like your textbook, but it is not a physical textbook. It's on the internet. And the good thing about a website is that it has information, it has pictures, it has videos, it has files, it has so many things. And a website is used for different purposes, either for sales and advertisement. Like Gigi is a website that is used for sales. It's, a, it's an e-commerce website. So for instance, you want to buy sneakers and you don't want to go to the market. You can easily go to www.gg.ng and search for a good sneakers, pay online, and then they will deliver it to you. Or you use Jumia or you use Conga. These are websites that are used for buying and selling. Your school has a website. Your school's website helps your parents and other people that likes to bring their children to your school to read information about your school 
on the website. Your daddy's business, your mommy's company, your uncle's company, they all have their websites like hp.com, like microsoft.com. All these websites basically carries information of this organization and also tells people what and what service that they have to offer. So a website is found on the internet. It is found on the internet. Before a business can have a website, someone has to build the website for them. Someone that has the skill to build a website. So what I am going to be doing in this class for the next three weeks is to teach you how to build a proper website. What is the uses of a website? So let's quickly look at this. So a website is used for advert purposes. A website is used for information sharing. A website is used for sales and marketing. A website is used for social activities. A website is used for educational activities. A website is used for entertainment. These are so many things. These are so these are some of the things that a website can do. Now, you want to build a website, you must dis div you must decide the kind of website you want to build. Is it an e-commerce website where people can buy and sell? Is it a website that serves as information just like your school's website? Is it a website that is used for entertainment just like YouTube where a lot of people watch movies and videos? Is it a website that is used for educational purposes like, like Google where we go to search for information? So you need to determine the type of website that you want to build now um another thing that i want to tell you about a website is that there are features of a website a website have different pages just like your textbook has the front page the bank page the center page the page 14 page 15 a website also have different pages like the home page like the about us page like the contact us page a website has different pages and all of these can be found online a website also has plugins just like your map just like portal i'm going to explain that probably at the cost of learning to build a website another thing is a website has graphics and videos you can you, you a website has pictures has videos so those are the basic things that you find found on a website now, how do you build a website? There are different softwares used for building a website. And in this class, for the next three weeks, I am going to be teaching you how to use Mobirize to build a website. Now, before we even start learning how to build a website, let me show you different examples of a website. So, I'm quickly going to go to the internet. Let me quickly show you one popular website that a lot of people know, www.gg.ng. Now you can see, you can buy anything on GG. So this website is used for buying and selling. Let me look for another website, www google.com this is google google is a search engine where we can search for any information so let me put a video how to cook fried rice so google help us to do a lot of research so i can play a video for you on how to cook fried rice using the google application so basically, this website helps you to learn. You can see. Now, like I told you, I'm not going to dwell so much on this. At least you have seen two examples or three examples of website. I've shown you the one that is used for buying and selling, www.gg.com. I've shown you the one that is used for making research. So basically, you have seen what a website looks like now the deal is how to create your own website 
and I said I'm going to be teaching you how to use Mobirize to create a website in the next three weeks. But before we end today's class, I want to teach you how to download the Mobirize application. So for this, you might need your mom, your dad, or your uncle, or your aunt to, to um, help you in downloading the software. You can use any of the internet browsers. You can use Mozilla Firefox. You can use Google Chrome. So I am going to be using Google Chrome in my class. So I'll press the, I'll click the start button and then I'll type Google. So this is Google Chrome. And then the next thing is I would type download Mobi rise software and then it's going to take me to the mobi rise website i'll click the mobi rise website and then it's showing me here download for windows so i am using windows i'm sure most of you are using windows but if you are using mac you can click download for mac but i am using windows once you click the, your software is going to take some time to download now your web your mobi rise setup is downloading and it has completely downloaded so all I need to do is to click on the Mobirize application and then I'll follow all the easy prompt. I'll click yes and then I'll click install. And then my application will install gradually. It's installing. It will take a short moment to complete installation process. It's installing. So you just give it a little time. So don't forget, how do you download your Mobirize? go to your internet browsers for example google chrome then you go to the browser here you type download mobilize it will take you to the mobilize um, website you click the mobilize website the first thing you will see is download mobilize and when you click the mobilize download button it will download down here and then all you need to do is to open the application click install it will ask you to to click next you click next and then it will take some time to install so hold on wait while the software installs on your computer system and then when it has completed installation then we will start learning how to build our own website using mobilize this my mobilize software is still installing now it has completed installation and then is asking me to sign in with google which i am trying to do i'm sure that you would see this prompt also just follow the prompt sign in and then in a short clicks your mobilized application will be ready for your use and you'll be ready to start building your own website okay so your mobilized application has fully installed on your computer system never to worry it might show you things like this but don't worry in the next class i'll show us how to walk out around it how to build our website using mobilize you don't have to pay there is a free version that we can use and i can assure you that you would enjoy this application you'll be able to build a professional website that mommy and daddy will love and your friends will keep calling you to please come and build a website for them for their mom for their dad for their uncle and for their aunt and you would gradually start becoming a star so don't forget next week we will continue on this topic building a website but before you go like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel so that when we post our next class your parents will get the prompt easily and then you'll be able to enjoy our next series on web design using mobilize this has brought us to the end of this class. I hope to see you next week. Bye for now.